today's lesson we're looking at Delphi and databases and this is for the grade 12 IT CAP syllabus and we're looking particularly at ta databases with multiple tables that are linked. Now in the exam guidelines they specified that the one question would be an, an object and or database question. Now I've got a funny feeling and you can say you heard it here first that that question will probably involve a database that somehow connects or uses an object. So that's what we're going to look at in this lesson. How do we use objects with our databases? So the thing what we're going to do is we're going to create an object for our data. Now you need to remember and understand that our object will have nothing to do with our database. There will be no connection between our object and our database. There's nothing, there's no interactivity. So we're not going to be doing any database manipulation in the object. The object is simply a tool or a, like a super variable that can store data and has methods. And once we have created that object purely independent of our database, we will then have a main program where the data in the database corresponds with the data or the, the type of data that our object can store. And so we can use the object to make our life a lot easier when using the database. So please remember your object will have no database um, programming in it. It's simply controlling data. That's the way I can foresee them using it. And that way you can use your objects for other programs. So we're going to keep with the example that we've been working with through the series. We're going to be looking at the learner and we're going to create an object to store a learner called tlearner and the attributes that we are going to store are just the learner ID, the surname, the name and the amount paid um, from the database. That's where we will get it in the main program. For now, it's completely separate. Um, other things that I want to add, I'm going to add an amount due field, which is how much they still need to pay. And then the methods that I'm going to create is I'm going to create a calculate amount due. So we will then tell it how much money um, is the, for example, the activity. And then they will calculate how much money they still owe based on how much they've already paid from the amount paid. We will have a two string method, which will just display the, da the data nicely for us. And obviously we should probably have a constructor. And then once we've designed our object, we will move from there to the main program where the main program will use our object. So let's start with that. We're going to now create our object. I've already started it a little bit just to save time. I went to file, new unit and added a new unit to where all my other programs are. I have renamed it U Learner CLs and I've saved it as that. And then I typed all this in over here. I uh, typed the T learner class, I typed T object, and we're now going to write our attribute. So we're going to start with the S learner ID or F learner ID, and that is of type string. We also have a surname, which is also of type string, and then we have F name of type string, and then we have our other two reals, which is F amount paid, which is a real, and we have F amount due which is also a real so there we've got our attribute now our methods we obviously gonna need a constructor called create now this amount due we won't be able to put in the constructor because that needs to be calculated later but I will have s learner ID I'll have a s surname and an s name or all a type string so I'll put them into the constructor and I can probably put the amount due as well so I'll call that or not amount due sorry amount paid because that we will get from the database when we use the object there. We will not do any object handling here. So there we go. So there's my constructor. We will have a function for the two string. That's a nice easy one. Okay, which will obviously return a string. And then I'm going to create a procedure. If I spell it right, procedure called calculate amount due and it will take in as a parameter the cost of the activity and based on that cost we can work out how much money they still owe based on how much they've already paid and how much the rest of the activity is costing. So there we go there are our methods we're now going to write the code for those methods. So let's start with calculate amount due basically the user will send in a parameter called our cost which is the cost of the activity and we will then want to change this amount due ver uh, attribute to whatever the amount that is left that they still owe. So if amount due must now be equal to something. Now what is it equal to? Well if this is the cost of the event 
and this is how much we've already paid, then obviously the difference of the two will be how much we still owe or the amount due. So obviously the cost will be more and we will minus the amount due. Or not due, the amount paid. That will be how much is this is due. And then we'll save that value in the amount due. So if we want to use this, we will have to, if we want to calculate it, we'll have to call this procedure with its parameter. Let's move on to the next one, a constructor. We're going to use these parameters and store them into the attributes. All of these, as I said, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, you can see videos on um, objects. If you want to see how to do objects, we have a video series of that, which you're welcome to have a look at. And it explains all these things like attributes and methods, if you're not too sure what we're talking about here. So I'm just basically creating my constructor. They explain there as well how to do a constructor. So, and then if amount paid will be what we get from the R amount paid. There we go. So basically our constructor taking these parameters and putting them into the attributes. And our two string, we're just simply going to say result equals, and we're going to display the learner ID, which is of type string. We're going to put a hash nine. And then let's put in the surname. Well, let's put the name in first, followed by hash nine plus the surname plus a hash nine. I feel like I'm typing hash nine a real lot of times. And then obviously the amount paid. Now, amount paid is a real, and that's a problem because this is a string. So we are tempted to display it as a currency. So, so I want you to say float to string f. But as you can see, that's giving me a bit of a hassle. And the reason for that, if you do the object, you'll realize that we need to use is the sysutils library so that it can understand what this means. There we go. It worked a lot better now. It's FF currency, comma, 8, comma, 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Remember, try to work smart, not hard. So, and then instead of the last one being amount uh, paid, we're going to say amount due. There we go. So we can display all the data that we want in the to string function. So there we go. We've created our object. No database handling has happened here whatsoever. We are going to do the database handling from the main program side. So now we're going to go and write our main program. Just remember our methods. We've got our constructor. We're going to have to calculate the amount due, and then we're going to have to display it using the toString method. So these methods we will use in our main program. Here we have our main program. What we basically want to do is we want the user to be able to select an activity, and we can see what the activity costs. And we will then show payment summary, and it will display only those that do the activity, and it will display how much they have paid the, each learner and how much they still have to pay based on how much is the or what is the cost of this activity. So we're going to need that cost when we run the program. So in our main program, if you look here, I have included the learner class so it knows how to use it. And so let's go to our button over here. We want to write the code for this button. And there it is. We're going to, on this button, we're going to write the code. And we are connecting with the database, so which is in another module, a data module. So we can say with DM and there is the data module, the excursion data module, do, and we can do a whole lot of things with it. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to take note of which activity the user selected. So that's the first thing I'm going to go to. I'm going to say, which activity did they select? So I'm going to make a variable here called S act of type string, and I'm going to say, well, this S act is equal to whatever that activity table is and it's the activity name so now I know which activity was selected okay so we've got that now in my rich edit control summary I'm just going to make sure that I clear it and then I'm going to add the heading of this activity so dot lines dot add and we're just going to add this s act so that we know which activity we're dealing with now, I could do a filter over here. We've done filters in a lot of the other programs. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a different type of filter. I'm going to actually just go through the code. So I'm going to start with the learner.first. We're going to go to the first learner. And then we're going to go while 
not tbl learner dot end of file so we're going to go till while we're not at the end of the file do the following and we're going to put a begin and an end and this is my end of while you could obviously use a filter i'm just doing this a very long way just so we can get used to using this type of code as well so i only want the learners that do that activity so we have obviously gone to the first learner so i'm going to first check if the tbl learners activity name if that is obviously the same as the activity that we have just selected then what do we want to do well we actually want to do a we want to put the data from this record into an object so we are going to create an object over here so i'm going to create an object over here let's call it um that's i'm going to call it temp it's a terrible name but i know but and that's of type t learner okay now we are going to create this temp so temp is now going to equal to t learner dot create and we need to put in those parameters where are we going to get those parameters well they're going to be from the tbl learner record so tbl learner the first one will be the learner id and the second one will be i'm going to copy that so we can save time for typing will be the surname so it'll be the surname field and so i'm just taking those values from the database and putting them into the object directly so this is where the connection is between the object and the database and the last one is the amount paid and if we just double check that should be all right we got the name field name okay there we go amount paid and you can always just double check with the learner details to see if it matches correctly so there we go we've got our constructor now that we have all that data in an object now we don't need to worry about working with a database now we can simply work with our object temp so i want to display in the rich edit dot lines dot add i basically want to say you know temp will use its two string function to display the data for me and then we will move on to the next value in the database well, we'll probably do this outside of this if statement once the if statement is finished we'll move before the end of the while we'll say tbl learner dot next and then at the end we'll be done the only thing we've got to be wary of remember that two string had a calculate do and that value was never it was never given a value unless we call the calculate um the calculate field or the i think it was calculate amount to do so we have to call it so we have to say temp dot calculate amount due and we need to give it a cost and where are we going to get this cost from well we've selected an activity and the activity has a cost which is in the same table if you remember over here there it is it's cost so let's go have a look and see if we can put the cost in so now it's getting cost from that table and using that as a parameter to calculate the amount due and then it will display it so there we go that sh looks like it's okay for now it's probably a good idea once i'm finished using this object over here you'll agree I'm, i don't need that object anymore so i can free it up so that the next time we use it it will create it again as a whole new object for the whole new record that will match that activity so let's have a look and see if it works no errors so far so we're going to select archery and hopefully we can get a summary of all the archery there we go here we can see archery is 45 rand and this is the amount due those who've already paid it obviously have nothing left to pay those that have haven't paid the full amount still have an amount due left to pay so there we go just to recap we created our object completely separate to the database and then when we were going through each and every record we just took the data from that um, database record and put it into the object so that we could just use the objects fields that we had created without even working with the, the database again for more videos on databases with linked tables and objects please go to our youtube channel the examples from today's video come from the 
Delphi Grade 12 eNotes from Study Opportunities, which are available in 2014. A textbook for the IT Grade 12 CAP syllabus will be available from their website in 2015.